What's going on guys before the video starts please check out the merch there and down below in the in the description as well We have hats. We have really cool designs really cool new stuff pops in all the time uh, But uh, it really helped the channel and I really appreciate it. Let's get to the video. What's going on guys? I want to talk to you about my bass leaders. I've been getting quite a few questions about how I build a bass leader and so I want to go through some things with you to show you what types of materials I choose and for what purposes. So the first things first is I have different bass leaders for different scenarios. If I'm fishing top water, I typically go with a six to eight foot leader. Uh, this is what I have right here. I start off with typically 30 pound mono, blood knot to 20 pound mono, to I don't know, 10 or 14 pound mono and that's uh you know usually two foot a piece maybe a little more so when you cut your pieces a little longer than two foot how this varies is i want to if i decide i want to fish subsurface ideally i'll use fluorocarbon and also if i'm using a sinking or an intermediate line i'll switch to fluoro and i'll shorten my leader if i'm fishing a uh, a versaliter, for example, like a 20 pound versaliter, what I'll do is I'll use that versaliter and then I'll only do about 18 inches of, I don't know, say it's a 20 pound versaliter, a 10 pound tippet at the end of it. So um, what that does is it allows the versaliter to do its thing. I can I find that, you know, fluorocarbon, it, it, it's sinkable, but it's mostly neutral when it comes to fishing bulky flies. So that's kind of what I want. I want to be able to vary the depth of my fishing with my line and the weight I put on my flop with the fly compared to um, you know having my fly fight monofilament so uh, you know if I'm going subsurface I'm fishing with fluoro um, unless I'm fishing for example like a booby or I'm fishing like a Dahlberg diver and I want it to stay very close to the surface I'll fish it with mono but uh, yeah I would suggest uh, starting to build your own leaders rather than buying them um, and uh, remember the bass are not leader shy so fishing something a little heavier guarantees you the ability to fish you know first of all bigger flies but second of all have a little fun horsing them around especially if you're fishing around docks and things so um, that being said uh, remember that it's harder to break off so if you get hooked up on a dock be professional about it go over Bring your boat as close to the dock as you can and unwrap it. Apologize if there's somebody nearby. But, um, you know, getting out and, and, and attacking bass on the fly is a super, super fun and uh, often exhilarating, exciting, explosive way to fish. Um, and it's something that bass, especially in, you know, super frequent in lakes and pressured lakes and ponds, don't see that often. So my catch rate on bass on pretty busy... Uh, lakes and ponds is actually pretty high so um, and we'll do a video here shortly with that but that being said hopefully you guys like the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out the merch the merch will be there it'll be down there below um, fly life uh, lifestyle apparel uh, check out you can get, there's hats everything's down in the description below everything you you guys want to pick up it really helps the channel um, you know monetization on this channel is a rough go uh, fishing in general is a rough go on YouTube, so that being said, please support the channel any way you can. Um, but until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.
There's a fish. If I There you go. <laughs> nice little dude. Oh, he's little. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Jeez, where'd the big ones go, dude? Look at, look at the bend again. I finally feel like I'm back. It's like steelhead season a little bit where you actually have, have a little bit of a fight. <laughs> I was thinking about bringing the three. Dude, I can't go much farther than this. What do I do with the camera? What? I said, what do I do with this camera? I don't want to drop it. Find a way to try it. Go ahead. Go on a net or? Yeah. Here, take it from me. It's on my back. Is it baggy? Yeah. But it's also clipped on, so you're gonna have to unclip the clip whenever you pull it through. That's a nice small thing I saw. Bring him on over. <laughs> da -da 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 da 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 Get this guy back in the water. Let's show the let's show the peeps at home. Oh man, look at that fish. That that's the prettiest fish we've caught in a long time. You gonna let that bad boy go? All right, let's do that, ladies. All right, make sure you swim in uh, 